So if I'm looking for what are the asymptotes, you say, oh, the degree in the numerator is larger than the degree in the denominator. So there's no horizontal asymptote. Vertical asymptote is just the denominator set equal to 0. That's about as easy as it gets, right? But the problem is when we have no horizontal asymptote, we have the opportunity for an oblique asymptote, all right? And now I want to make sure, could this, be, could this be a hole, which is a slant asymptote? Could this be a hole? Right? It's possible. So let's factor this to make sure it's not. Because obviously, if you have a hole, you don't have an asymptote. So this is x minus 4 times x plus 1. OK, it doesn't get divided out. So therefore, that means I have a slant asymptote, which I'll just call slant, or oblique asymptote, as I noted in your notes. So to find your oblique asymptote, you guys are going to go back to doing division again. OK? So we're going to go back to using long division. x goes into x squared, x times. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is a positive 2x. Group and subtract. That goes to 0. Negative 3x minus 2x. You owe me $3. You, sub you borrow two more. You now owe me $5. x goes into negative 5x. Negative 5 times. Negative 5 times 5x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 2 is a negative 10. Bring down the negative 4. Now again, you could do this, but what you guys will see is this is really a waste of time because this turns out to be Attention, students and staff, there will be a tardy sweep this period. There will be a tardy sweep this period. Please stay with me. Stay with me. I'll get you out soon. But what I want you guys to understand is this quotient, you don't need to worry about the remainder like what we did earlier in class. The slant asymptote is just the quotient without the remainder. OK? Now, let's find the x-intercept really quick. That is just the numerator. I'll write the factored form equal to 0. So that's x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. And then the y-intercept, again, the same thing we've been doing again, guys. That's y equal negative 4 over positive 2, which is negative 2. OK? So the only difference here is you now, since you have no horizontal asymptote, you are going to divide, and the quotient, y equals quotient, is your slant asymptote. OK, question? Yeah, I'm kind of confused about everything. 